I'm Pastor Tony Smith, president of the Johnson County Interfaith Coalition. I will be hosting a short video about immigration and its relationship to voting. The national election is November 2020. We will be electing a president, vice president, as well as U.S. senators and congressional representatives. We'll elect state legislators and folks running for county and local offices. When we cast our votes, we will be voting to address many of the needs in our community. Improving our immigration laws and practices is one of those needs. I'd like to introduce Jody Hoblin, who will describe immigration issues in Johnson County. I'm Jody Hovland. I'm a member of the Center for Worker Justice Immigration Initiative and am passionate about social justice in Johnson County. As a former artistic director at Riverside Theater, I also recognize the importance of raising issues of justice through that forum. Why does voting matter to Johnson County? It's simple. If you care about immigration, your vote matters. Documented and undocumented immigrants make up 4.3% of the population of Iowa and account for 4.5% of the state's economic output and 5.4% of the workforce. According to recent estimates, Undocumented immigrants represent about 2.5% of the state population, about 75,000 people. Immigrants contribute as both workers and employers in the Iowa economy. Undocumented immigrants pay an estimated $64 million in Iowa state and local taxes, and their employers contribute $45 million in payroll taxes and unemployment insurance, one of several state and local programs undocumented immigrants are barred from receiving. Our U.S. Congress has control over immigration policy. If our elected representatives choose to enact immigration reform, enabling work authorization and a clear path to citizenship, for current residents who are undocumented, that would have a significant positive economic impact for Iowa and its immigrant population. City and county elected officials also have control over policies and programs that affect both documented and undocumented immigrants. If you are a U.S. citizen, Please vote in the November election to improve the lives of immigrants in our community. It's important to learn how local candidates plan to address immigration issues and then for us to vote. Thank you, Jody. Now I'd like to introduce Jessica Pennell, Executive Director of Iowans for Immigrant Freedom. Hi, I'm Jessica Pinnell, and in addition to being the Executive Director of Iowans for Immigrant Freedom, I've been active in the Immigration Initiative of the Center for Worker Justice for a number of years. I'm passionate about immigrant rights and voting. Voting is one way we can improve the situation of immigrants in our country, state, and county. The first step in voting is to confirm that you are correctly registered to vote. Maybe you've never voted. Maybe you have changed addresses since you last voted. The Iowa City Public Library, the League of Women Voters, and the Johnson County Auditor's Office have excellent online information about registering. You can register to vote or check your registration online at https colon two black slashes sos dot iowa dot gov backslash and click register to vote or in person at the Johnson County Administration Building at 913 South Dubuque Street. Be sure to take a driver's license or other official picture ID. The second step is to cast your vote. Voting in the November 3rd election will officially begin before Election Day, starting on October 5th. Everyone in Johnson County is allowed to vote absentee by mail or in person starting October 5th. The video that follows my talk describes absentee voting in detail. All registered 
voters can vote in person at an early voting site. Just drop by the Johnson County Administration Building at 913 Dubuque Street. Voting on Election Day, Tuesday, November 3rd, will happen throughout the city at designated precincts from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. I'm speaking to you now to highlight how important it is for you to vote in the November 2020 election. Voting is a right and a privilege. Support your community by voting. Thank you for taking time to view this video. Participating in the November election is a way for you to vote truth to power, a way to provide our community support through funding and government policies. The following video provides easy step-by-step -step instructions on submitting an absentee ballot. 